1% of the population has an intracranial aneurysm inside their head. Uh, aneurysms don't become symptomatic, usually unless they rupture. So there's two types of aneurysms, the aneurysms that have ruptured, that cause a bleed inside the head, and aneurysms that have not ruptured. Usually the aneurysms that are not ruptured are the ones that you will see when a patient comes in from, for an MRI for unrelated symptoms, and incidentally, you find an aneurysm. Now, those aneurysms are the ones that we treat, usually on an outpatient basis, and there's two ways to treat aneurysms. The way that interventional neuroradiologists like myself treat aneurysms, we go from the groin into the head and we try and exclude that aneurysm out of the circulation by either using coils inside the aneurysm uh, from the groin or using a stent across the neck of the aneurysm in the normal vessel that almost is like a jail cell that causes the aneurysm to be excluded from the circulation. And those procedures that we bring those patients as outpatients, they usually come in one day and by the next day they're, they're home.